Hello there. We're gonna try to make this as non-HGTV as possible, but welcome to my channel. I'm Jules, if we haven't met. I am giving you all a tour of our living room and our cafe slash lounge area. So it's a sunny day, the house is clean. So it just felt like a really good time to whip out the camera and do an official reveal of our spaces. We spend a lot of time in these spaces, especially in our living room. To us, it's like the heart of the home. We eat most of our meals there, watch our favorite shows, play games, do puzzles, read books, all that fun stuff. So I'll be sure to link as much as I can in the description, as well as let you know where we've splurged and where we've saved. So. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna start with the living room. Let's go this way. Let's start with our couch. Our couch is from Made in Home. I love it so much. And when we first moved to this house, I knew I wanted a white couch. I know a lot of people say white's not practical if you have dogs, pets, if you have kids, but I just have to say that I disagree. I think it's very much possible. We don't have kids yet, but we've had several kids in our house for multi days in a row. We've had over 30 people in our house for a big week long holiday celebration. It's been no problem at all. If you want it bad enough, it's definitely possible. But I think the number one most important thing is to make sure you get a performance fabric. And I did a lot of research on the different fabrics for couches. If I was going to invest in a couch like this, I really want to make sure that it holds up and lasts. I ended up getting a couch with the Krypton fabric. I ordered swatches. I played around with staining it with different things to see how well it cleaned. We ended up with this specific fabric and there's several different retailers that make couches with this Krypton fabric. So it was made in home. Our house has it. I think Crate and Barrel has it. You can look it up, but Krypton is a very durable fabric. It's also a non-toxic option for a performance fabric. Look it up, read on it, order some swatches. In addition to the performance fabric, I highly recommend considering covering the seats with a blanket. I didn't expect to have these blankets on our couch 100% of the time, but it just kind of worked out that way. These blankets are king-sized knit blankets from Target. They look really good the way we've tucked it into the couch. It kind of feels like it is meant to go on the couch. It just gives us that extra peace of mind. So I enjoy having these blankets, especially when we have lots of guests over and people running around jumping on the couch and all that. People as in children jumping on the couch. It just gives you an extra layer of protection. And it makes it easy to clean because I can just take the blankets off, wash them. I do a quick little vacuum and pop them back on. And the couch was definitely a splurge. I've never spent that much on a couch before. I have the couch linked if you wanna look it up. Because we are making this investment, we specifically made the decision, the really hard decision, of not letting our dogs on the couch. I think that really helps with keeping this couch in really good condition. We've had it for about a year now, and with the dogs, they can make any space dirty much faster with the dirt that they bring in from outside and all the things. So as hard as it was to not be able to snuggle with them on the couch, we can snuggle with them in so many other areas. And at the end of the day, it's just so nice having a clean space to snuggle up on and watch our shows. <laughs> so onto the throw pillows. I used to be so big on throw pillows, but they always end up just on the ground, especially when a couch is just filled with them, it's not as practical. So I wanted to keep it pretty simple. We've just got these two pillows on this side and the other side, and then we've got this longer lumbar pillow. This is from The Citizenry, love their brand. This is from Mitchell Gold Bob Williams. This pillow and this pillow, and then the lumbar is from my neighbor. She didn't want it anymore and I love it. So keeping it simple on the throw pillows. This is our rug from West Elm. It's the West Elm Grooves rug, and I'm pretty sure it's one of their best sellers because it's super durable, and I can attest to that. This is the color Alabaster, and the size I believe is nine by 12, but I'll make sure to link it. We don't wear shoes in the house, but we have a dog named Clover who sheds a lot, and you really can't tell. I do vacuum a lot, but I would say this rug is super low maintenance. It's very comfortable and soft, and we did deep clean it once this year. So I think, you know, if you have any spills, I've spilled matcha, I've spilled coffee. Luna's had an upset stomach on this rug and it came right out. So I haven't had any issues with it. I highly recommend it. 
would buy again. I love our coffee table. It's from Crate and Barrel. I love how big it is. For us, it was really important to have a big coffee table because we eat most of our meals here. When it's just me and Andrew, we sit on these cushions that we got from Amazon. Highly recommend just getting a bunch of floor cushions. If you have guests coming over and you have a space you can just kind of gather, this is that space for us. We love having lots of people over, spreading out, having a game night, eating lots of cheese and charcuterie boards, watching our show, our movies. Like I said earlier, it's the heart of the home. There is a little scratch on it. I honestly think it's Clover because when she is really amped up, she has in the past jumped onto the coffee table or jumped over it, as well as jumping over our couch to get to the front door if she thinks there's a package or something. So that's kind of a bummer, but at the end of the day, like that's gonna happen and it's okay. So I'm sure there's something I can do to buff it out, but it's not like a huge concern for me at this point. I would say like the edges are a little sharp. So if you have children, whenever we had kids over, I would kind of be on standby, making sure they don't like fall into it. So that is something that I probably would have thought about in hindsight, but I'm not really worrying about it just yet. So anyways, we love our coffee table from Crate and Barrel. I think it just really grounds the space and it's a space that we use a lot. This is a crate from Fable. Let's see if Clover will come in here. Clover, come here, come here, go inside, go inside. So this is Clover, one of Clover's many spots in the house. We got this when we lived at our other house because it was a smaller space. At the time, Clover was doing more crate training and she really likes to be inside of things. So we wanted to get something that looked more like furniture. Since it was a big investment, even though she doesn't really use it that much, like we never closed this door. There's a ton of dog hair on it. We never close the door, but it's an option if we needed to, but Clover just likes to hang out and sit in here and watch TV sometimes. But I think because we definitely splurged on this, we wanted to keep using it for as long as we can. And it goes really well here. It's like a side table and we keep dog treats, coasters, we got our remote, my Kindle. Clover goes inside the crate. She likes to sleep under this coffee table. She will perch up on our poof in our lounge. Both of the girls have many different places that they like to relax in and that's okay with us. <laughs> this area here is probably my favorite area of the entire home. And I feel like I say that for every single room reveal that I've done on YouTube so far, but I really mean this. I love the way this looks, this TV stand, just the way that we've decorated. It's the area of our home that makes me think, wow, I can't believe this is my home. And believe it or not, this is from Ikea. It's just crazy. Like the one thing that to me has just brought the whole space to life and really nailed the vision that I had for the home is from Ikea. <laughs> we originally planned on doing this custom built-in entertainment system with a woodworker and the quote was like over $10,000. And then I started thinking, you know, I, I don't think we need to spend that much money nor do I want to. So I went down a rabbit hole on Pinterest. I just started looking up alternative ideas and I came across the Besta system from Ikea. This entire unit is actually two Besta TV stands side by side. And we had to DIY how we mounted it because we wanted to make sure that it was really sturdy. Obviously we're not sitting on here and we don't recommend like leaning on it, but it is, it is very solid. We had to mount a piece of wood across the back because the studs don't align perfectly with where Ikea has the holes for mounting. We just wanted to make sure it was sturdy. So we mounted it into the wood. We can do some cleaning up back here to kind of hide the wood and make it look nicer, but it just so happens that the width of this space was like the perfect size for two bestas side by side. And I don't know how it worked out that way, but it did and I'm so grateful. The doors are from Ikea. I just love this unit so much and I think mounting it, having it float, makes it feel so much lighter and more minimal and you can just tuck all the cords away, hide the PlayStation and all the gaming equipment. Best part, I think, is the 
mood lighting. We went to Best Buy, found an LED light strip that just sticks on with a command strip and it comes with an app. This brand is called Wiz. It just looks so cozy. It's on a timer, so it comes on in the evening when we're winding down for the day. I just think it really brings the whole space to life. So yeah, this entire Vesta system with the doors and the lighting, right under 900. So we went from originally getting a quote for over $10,000 to ending up with a $900 system. And I think it looks even better than what I even imagined for a custom. Our TV is the Samsung frame. We had this TV at the last house, but we had it at 55 inches. And then for this house, we decided to sell that TV and get the 65 inches since it's a bigger wall to fill. I'm not super knowledgeable about TVs and all that's out there, but I've always loved the frame because I love that it's flat. I love that it kind of looks like art and blends in. All the cords are hidden inside of the wall and we were able to put some of our own pictures up. These are pictures that Andrew took in Korea and it just brings the whole vibe together. It makes it really cozy. Our decor is a mix of coffee table books, things from World Market, Amazon, mementos from our trip to Korea. We just recently got this frame. This is a woven piece of art that we got in Seoul and we popped into the Michael store and had them custom frame it along with a 1000 piece puzzle that took months to finish. That's hung up in our kitchen. I would say I really like functional decor, but for this space, I decided to kind of enjoy more artistic ceramic pieces. So we've got our little coffee table book section, this cute little figurine and plants, of course. On this side, we have more books, a version of our matcha bowl that never ended up coming out because the spout isn't super functional, but it looks very beautiful. So now it's just kind of sitting in my home as decor. I got this book in Korea showing recipes for all these delicious cozy drinks. I also just wanted to point out that this is where we keep our security alarm and our Wi-Fi booster. I actually don't really know what this is, but it's for Wi-Fi. And I hide it with this vase that I'm pretty sure I got from World Market. Might have been Home Goods. It was a random purchase when I was shopping with my mom. And um, these are not real. I would love to have real branches in here. But you know, I have so many plants and I'm just kind of trying to be realistic about what I'm able to keep alive. So. I like the way this looks. Something I really love about our home is how we've been able to make it more sentimental. We had never printed out photos or had anything that was like a memory of ours that we've displayed or hung or had something that was sentimental to us. And for this home, it definitely feels so much more personal. We've taken the time to print our wedding photos or get artwork framed that we got from travel and just be able to display more things that make us who we are and integrate more culture, especially from the Korean side of my family. I was given different pieces that belong to my Hanmoni and my mom. It just feels so much more special. And I also think what's made it feel really personal is that in all the past places we've lived, we were always kind of in and out, moving, everything kind of felt temporary. And this time, this house feels a lot more personal. I also think because I designed the space rather than hiring an interior designer, that was a really fun challenge to take on. Obviously I included Andrew in that process and made sure he was okay with the choices that I had picked out, but he really let me just run with it. It was so much fun to design the space and it was very fulfilling creatively. Just in general, this home just feels like such a safe, cozy, personal, sentimental and special place. And I really feel grateful to live here. Now we are moving on to the lounge. We also call it the Matcha House Cafe, H-A-U-S. This is the area of our home that we were pretty stumped on. We didn't know how to best utilize the space. And in the floor plan, they had it marked as a formal dining room. And for us, we didn't really need that extra dining area since we mostly sit on the floor anyways. We already have a dining table over past the kitchen. So we really wanted to be intentional with how we fill the space and make sure it's something we're actually going to utilize. After taking several months to just live in our home, we started brainstorming what we wanted this area to be and we came up with it being like a lounge area. We wanted it to be a place where we could relax, read, drink our matcha, our tea, and just hang out. These chairs are both from Article, and I would say these were pretty affordable considering they are leather. They're very well made, 
and I love how compact they are. They also swivel, which for this area makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I really love this chair. My dad has actually fully reclined. He just lays back and he'll just be sleeping over here. This is his waiting room where he sits down, puts his shoes on, waits for my mom and my brother to go home so he can go sit on his couch at home. <laughs> so this is a really cozy spot. This poof is from Mitchell Gold Bob Williams and Clover loves sitting here. This is one of her many spots in the house. It's made of jute and it also goes with this rug, which is from Rugs USA, but it's a jute and cotton woven rug and I love it. It was super affordable, but it's also very durable. As I mentioned before, we don't wear shoes in the house and we ask our guests to leave their shoes at the door and we have some slippers at the front. However, if someone were to wear shoes, it would be here because sometimes people like my dad might need to sit down to put their shoes on. We are currently working on a bench in the mudroom so people don't have to come in here with their shoes on, but you know, if you need to sit down to put your shoes on, then not gonna stop you from doing that. But yeah, this rug is very durable. I love how it's still light and bright, but it's been a super sturdy rug. This is a marble side table from West Elm. We had this at our previous house and I think at our previous apartment. This thing has been with us for a long time and it has been great. I think it's even tipped over a couple times because of Clover and it's still in one piece. So this is from West Elm and it makes me feel like I'm at a little cafe. This mirror is from Crate and Barrel and it is very, very heavy, but so beautiful. This is one of those pieces that I had picked out long before we moved into this house. I didn't know where it was gonna go. I just knew I wanted it and I was gonna put it somewhere and make it work. At first I thought maybe it could go in our bedroom, but I actually love it here. It is very oversized and I feel like it really opens up the space. I also like to take little outfit selfies here and I like to look at what my outfit looks like with my shoes before I head out the door. So love this mirror. I also, because it's so heavy, we have a little wad of paper behind so it doesn't dent the wall. It's gold, it's beautiful, it's oversized, I love it. We get a lot of beautiful morning light in here, so gotta have our plants. We've got Mr. Snake Plant here, and then we've got our Monstera. And with the Monstera, we have this little plant stand from Target. It's a little wobbly, but she's doing fine. I just love this Monstera. The last area I'm gonna show you is our sideboard. I think it's called a sideboard, or a buffet, or a credenza one of those three, but this was definitely a splurge. It was from CB2. I just felt like it was a very beautiful and special piece that I wanted to keep for a very long time. This is stone and it is so beautiful in person. And I think actually when it first arrived, it was damaged. They didn't even deliver it. They had to then take it back to the warehouse and reorder it. It took forever to get here. It took months and months to get here. But when it did, it was definitely worth it. I think it's so beautiful. The wood ties in perfectly with all the other areas of her home along with these Frames. These are photos that Andrew took in Korea and we got them framed on Framebridge's website. I will say if you are going to get something framed, make sure that you get an anti-glare glass or acrylic or whatever they offer. We didn't do anti-glare and I really regret it because when the sun's coming in, it's hard to see it. You probably can't even see it very well on camera, but these are really beautiful special photos to us. And we also have, of course, photos of our dogs, Luna and Clover. These were illustrated by Jessie from Hazel and Grace Illustrations. She did this of Luna for our wedding. This is before we had Clover, but Luna was in spirit at our wedding via this illustration. And then when we got Clover, we had Jessie do another one for her. And now this is their corner. This is the area that we will probably dress up more with holidays and fun things like that. But about the credenza, I'll show you what it looks like inside. These doors are pretty heavy and it has storage in it, which I really love. It's not just beautiful, it's also functional. We have some wine in here. I don't really drink, but I love having wine on hand, obviously for guests. I don't even think there's anything in this drawer. Yeah, we don't even have anything. We are not utilizing it to its fullest potential yet, but I also like to fill it intentionally and not just fill it for the sake of filling it. But in this section, we keep our cake stand, some nicer wine glasses, 
and just some extra like cake cutters, serving stuff, platters. It's just nice to know that these are all clean, no water spots because we have hard water. And if we have special guests coming over, we know these have been like polished or however. We sound so fancy, but it's really not. <laughs> it's not that fancy. We haven't really utilized this inside either. You know, as we build our hosting skills and we get more platters and things like that with time, that's what we will use this credenza for. All right, my friends, thank you so much for checking out my living room and our lounge area. I hope you enjoyed this tour and let me know in the comments what tours you'd like to see in the future. We still have a couple areas of the home that we're working on, so I will do a full home tour at some point, but probably not for a while, so let me know what you'd like to see. Also, just wanted to say thank you so much for 100,000 subscribers. I'm so grateful to be able to create intentional content on here, and I'm so grateful for each and every one of you who tunes into my videos each week. It means the world to me. I'm so grateful, and I love you guys. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.